Hello friends, welcome to another video. Today is January 2nd, so it's the second day of Veganuary, where we're posting daily videos, talking a little bit more about the vegan-y side of things. And today's video, I wanted to talk about the reasons why I am vegan and how I stay vegan. So let's chat about that in this video. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I truly appreciate you being here, spending some time with me. I love you so much and thank you for making compassionate choices in your life and choosing more vegan options. So before we begin though, just remember we have 40% off any or all of our recipe eBooks. The code is rawfood40 and the link is in the description box below where you can enjoy so many more raw vegan meals in your life. You don't have to be a raw vegan to enjoy raw foods. You can add more raw to your life and enjoy more colors, more flavors, more different ways of preparing food. So all of those are in the description box below. Head over there and check it out. Today, we are going to be talking about why I'm vegan and how I stay vegan. So my main reason for being vegan is for the animals. Number one, first and foremost, that is the definition of vegan. And that is why I am vegan. I am also vegan for other reasons, for the health of the planet, for my health, for, you know, helping not have slaughterhouse workers and their mental health issues and all that kind of stuff. There's so many reasons to choose more plant-based options or to go vegan. And again, my top reason is the animals, but also the planet, my health, and, and a bunch of other reasons. So I chose veganism in 2014. On September 12th, I chose to become vegan. And the reason why was because I watched uh, some documentaries. I watched Earthlings, Forks Over Knives, and Cowspiracy all in one day, and I was instantly vegan. I always knew about veganism. I had vegan friends and coworkers, but I never understood the vegan connection until that day. And that is the day that changed my life as well. I went raw that day. And I changed how I viewed animals and how I fed my body. So these were two amazing changes that I made in my life, not only for myself, but for the animals as well. And again, I know that there's no such thing as a perfect vegan. This does not exist. So we have to make the best choices that we can with what we have, with what we're, what's available to us, with our finances and all these other factors that come into play, just doing the best that we can and making the choices that we need to when we are faced with those choices. So how do I stay vegan? It's one thing to go vegan. It's a whole other thing to stay vegan. So the first thing that I do to stay vegan is to always remember my why. Why am I vegan? I'm vegan for the animals. I'm not vegan for myself necessarily. That's kind of a side effect. That is another reason, but it's a side effect of the choice, the original choice that I made to go vegan for the animals. So I always go back to my why. Why am I vegan? Why am I doing this? What am I doing? <laughs> I always have to go back to that original reason to stay on the path. The second thing that I do is I make sure that I eat enough so incredibly important and I talk about this in countless videos because it is one of the top problems that I notice in people who are struggling to stay vegan. They're not eating enough and it doesn't matter what diet you're on, if you are under eating, you're going to be under eating nutrition. Not getting enough protein, not getting enough carbohydrates, not getting enough fiber, not getting enough nutrition. If we under eat, we are doing ourselves a disservice. So it's really important to eat enough. It's also really important to eat enough variety. If we limit our food choices down to only a few things because we want to eat simply, this can eventually weaken our microbiome. So when we do eat other things, it's really hard for us to digest them because our gut microbiome has been limited. So we don't want to be eating too simply. Obviously we want to eat simply as in the term of not processed, highly processed foods, 
but not as so simple as we're missing out on variety. Variety is so important for our bodies and our microbiome. We get a wider range of nutrition and fiber to feed them, which in turn give us a stronger immunity, better mood, better digestion, conversion of vitamins and other things. So we need them to help keep us alive. They provide 99.5% of our genetic makeup. So we got to feed them. They're really super important, but not eating enough and not eating enough variety are two things that I notice in people who are struggling to stay vegan because they might be experiencing some issues in their body. Another thing um, that I do is to tr test myself, test like blood tests and omega-3 tests and microbiome tests and learn about my body and what my body needs where I can make choices within veganism to stay vegan because I want to stay vegan for the animals. I don't want to be exploiting animals or paying others to exploit them on my behalf in order to stay healthy when I know that I can stay healthy and many people do. It's possible working with my microbiome, growing my microbiome and my digestion, working with my body physiology to make it work. So testing is really important. People neglect that and they go too long without learning where their vitamin B12 levels are or their vitamin D or even testing their microbiome. It's very important to do tests to learn about yourself. Another thing that I do is to continue learning, to watch more documentaries and learn more scientific studies and learn from others who are also sharing different perspectives on veganism and why veganism and to really learn more. It's so important that we continue our education and not get stuck in theories from the past, but to evolve with the new science and the new ideas, the new technology, that kind of thing. It's really important. So that's another way that I remain vegan is to continue learning. I also surround myself with people who are supportive. Community is really important and finding new friends is really important too because we are a lot like the people that we surround ourselves with. So it's really important to find other vegans or plant-based eaters that you can hang out with and learn from and just be with. And I know it's really hard to find other vegans, but these days there are more and more vegans out there. So get online, go join some meetups, go to some festivals and just find find more people. It's really, really important. Another thing I do to stay vegan is to continue learning new recipes and enjoying more different meals. Food can get boring for sure, but learning new recipes and stuff is really important. Again, you can enjoy 40% off our raw vegan recipe eBooks. The code is rawfood40. The link is in the description box below as well as on the screen here. You can enjoy more raw meals, different meals, try recipes from other people, look online, get excited about the food that you're eating. Cause again, veganism isn't a diet, but diet plays a big role within veganism. So finding fun things to eat is really important in staying vegan. And the final thing that I found that has really helped me to stay vegan was creating healthy habits. Creating the healthy habits that have helped me to get to where I am today. I've been vegan over eight years now and I don't see myself ever going back. I don't ever wanna go back to eating animal products, but I've created healthy habits in my daily routine, which helped me to stay vegan without even trying. Habits are incredibly powerful and we are creatures of habit. Habits determine our future and we can determine our habits and our habits then determine our future. So changing our daily habits, changing what we habitually eat when we're hungry or tired or bored or what have you, changing habits on food prep and what we buy at the grocery store, this takes time and patience and definitely takes consistency. So taking the time to create these new habits will help you to stay vegan in the future because once you create those habits, it's a lot easier to fall back on your current habits, much like right now, right? It's easy to fall back on what's currently habitual to us. So once we change those, that really helps solidify our daily, you know, the daily routine of making food and eating food and going shopping and doing all the stuff we do all the time. Changing that does take time and know that it will take time. Don't pressure yourself or force yourself into it. Just keep doing it day in, day out. Learn from your mistakes. Remember, learn from your mistakes is so important, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did like it, please click like. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and 
Check out our eBooks, over 700 raw vegan recipes. The code is rawfood40. The link is in the description box below to enjoy any or all of those eBooks. Thank you again for joining me today. We're gonna come for another video tomorrow. So hope you join me there tomorrow. And until the next one, fruit on.